Well, Commonwealth Bank's profit has jumped 10% during the quarter thanks to strong performances from its retail and business banking divisions. Joining me now is our reporter, Edward Boyd. Ed, Combank says competition for home loans has remained intense in Australia and New Zealand. This is something we've, we've seen the big th other big four banks, Laura, have reported their profits over the past seven days with Westpac yesterday. All of their profits were around the $4 billion number. Combank today, their $2.6 billion is their profit, but it's only for a three-month period. The other, the other three were for a half year. So CBA's profit's a bit healthier than the competition. Um, they credit a lot of it to their retail bank and their business bank divisions, both signing up quite a lot more new customers during this quarter. In fact, what jumped out at me by CBA's results today was they actually called out an, an extra 463,000 new customer accounts were signed up in the retail bank in the quarter and they say quite a few of them were migrants. So people coming to Australia, finding which bank do I want to join and it, according to CBA at least they're signing up with CBA. So its branding has done pretty well during the March quarter. So profit up 10% when compared to the March the previous year. Pretty solid result here from Commonwealth Bank and like the other football banks here, they do talk about difficulties with the economy. A lot of customers are facing pressure right now with rising interest rates and CBA are expecting potential loan losses to increase over the course of this year as there are a lot of people struggling. Yeah, there certainly are. Ed Aquantis will front the High Court today. This is a long-running case over the outsourcing of baggage handlers. This started in 2020. Um, Qantas outsourced 1,600 jobs, baggage handlers basically, that work at airports. Um, at the end of 2020, the Transport Workers Union um, said it was unlawful. Qantas have defended themselves, saying it was justified due to cutting costs. Um, it's been going since 2020. If they're appearing in the High Court today and tomorrow, um, whatever the outcome, it will then go back to the federal court and then there'll be a cost. So whoever loses this is going to be up for a massive legal bill. Um, this is obviously one to watch over the next day and a half, Laura.